I wanted to do an update on the potatoes, so here we go. This is about a week's worth of growth after the last video, maybe a week and a half or so. As you can see, about uh, five potatoes there, all sprouted. i am got to wait to, uh, oh, I'd say I'd wait another week before I uh, cover what's there up with more grass clippings that are dried and uh, some more dirt just to encourage it to, to grow up a little further uh, until we get up to the top. Um, that's, that's what we've got going right there. Here in the gardens, I've had a little bit of a mishap here. Um, you can see it, it's looking fairly nicely, uh, nicely green in this corner. The hibiscus plant for Harris, the tomato, the lettuce. Um, that tomato right there, it's got some problems. And as we can see over here, in Maddie's garden, similar, uh, those tomatoes that had the leaves all chewed off, they're starting to come back. Some of Maddie's uh, other tomatoes are, they're not looking too bad. What I did is fertilize them. Uh, the peas, they're really starting to get up. Um, here in mine, uh, the tomatoes, the peppers, uh, I've been watching a few videos on how to get rid of uh, bugs, aphids, mites, things like that. Um, it seemed like one week we had them, the next week, or one week we didn't have them, the next week we had tons and tons of them. They're not aphids, they're moving too fast. They're not ants. They look like a, a very small cross between the two. Um, maybe a tiny spider. Uh, I would zoom in on the soil and you can see them, but uh, they're just so tiny. So what I did is uh, I mixed um, a third of a cup of oil, um, about two-thirds cup of water, and some dish soap. We didn't have normal dish soap like um, oh, the liquid, like ivory or anything like that. It's, it's the foaming kind, the Dawn foaming kind. And I think that was a mistake because I sprayed it on my plant leaves, I sprayed it on the ground, and Every plant I sprayed it on, whether it was lettuce, cabbage, peppers, tomatoes, cucumbers, the leaves are starting to turn brown uh, on the little speckles. Uh, little speckles uh, where, I, where I sprayed, so I think that was a bad idea. Uh, luckily, let me see if I can just zoom in on one of them here. You can kind of see what's happening. Um, the, the brown and the speckles right there. You can see on this jalapeno, um, tam jalapeno pepper plant. You can also see it here on the tomato plant in some areas. There's there's a little bit there. Like I said, cabbage, lettuce, tomatoes, uh, cucumbers, whatever I did that to. Um, really looks like I, I uh, practically tried to kill it. Good news is most of this is coming back with new growth of leaves. Here, this is in my other garden, um, what I've got, there's a little baby asparagus that's coming up, there's another one over here that uh, I can't even see looking at it normally, so I'm not even going to zoom in on that. Uh, corn is doing very well, and uh, all together we probably have uh, 25 or 30 corn plants still. I've replanted some, uh, okra, there's an okra coming up, there's another one there. Uh, there's another one right there. Uh, in the middle, I've got the asparagus. I've got watermelons and tigger melons on the side. They're not doing as well as I would have liked at this point. Uh, I've had to replant a couple of those uh, just because they've died. But the corn, I'm, I'm really excited about that. Behind the corn and between the okra, there's not a lot of room, but I've planted popcorn, and that's coming up right now also. Let's see, there's... There's one right there, and next to it, there's another one right there. Okay, this isn't the prettiest, but uh, there's a little triangle here. I've got I've got a uh, kind of a little fence section and uh, some little garden fencing here to keep the dogs out. And that yellow wire in the back is part of our underground fence that's just taking a jog along the deck. I've got four tomato plants here. Uh, the celebrity tomato is not doing well at all but the Rutgers tomatoes are. 
I've got garlic chives that are from last year. They just wintered over pretty well. And I've also planted some onion seedlings here so we can have green onions later in the, in the year. And uh, this is just right in the backyard. Just uh, kind of right in the corner. Um, from where I'm standing, you can see there are the raised beds over there. And then over there, by the uh, swing set, over by the telephone pole, is where I have the grapes. And uh, let's go over and take a look at those. Okay, these are the grapes. I bought six plants. I planted them fairly close together. Um, that's okay. I've got a, a trellis up here that they can climb up well, with fence posts bracing it. Um, I bought six plants at Lowe's. It looks like three of them are actually uh, alive. And three of them have not uh, shown really any kind of ability to thrive here, uh, which is unfortunate. Uh, so I've got two red grapes. I'll have to get back with everybody on what they are. Um, I really don't remember what the type is. They're all seedless though. Okay. And uh, then the two middle ones, this one that's dead looking and this one right here, let me zoom out a little bit so I can see, uh, this one right here are green grapes. And uh, this one where none of them are growing, um, those are Mars grapes that are black uh, seedless grapes. And there's a lot of grass here, I'm, I'm going to mulch it uh, as soon as the rain calms down a little bit and uh, as soon as we can get some mulch out here. Don't have any right now, but we will. Now this is the part of the garden that's not really pretty at all. Um, it was, it's very rocky. Uh, the soil underneath is very good. Uh, I tried to cover up some of it with topsoil and uh, it worked last year for tomatoes really well. Uh, right in this area we had two tomato plants that were just got gigantic. Uh, right here is Maddie's cabbage and uh, this is one of the plants that I sprayed for bugs and uh, you can see it has the brown spots on it from the spray, probably from the detergent that I used. And uh, there's a giant sunflower, it's supposed to grow to 12 feet. There's another one right there, but it's uh, if it grows to 12 feet, it's going to grow 12 feet sideways. We've got two more out in the front of the house that uh, are looking a lot better than these out here. And then along here, there's another yellow wire, um, also for the underground fence. This was buried at one time but the dirt kind of washed away. I've got to get some more topsoil in here and uh, kind of build that up. Um, what I'm thinking of doing is just for this area, since it's not well defined, uh, after this growing season I'm going to come back through uh, with some wood, uh, kind of like the raised beds, and I'm going to build it up and uh, then actually uh, fill it with some topsoil and some uh, garden soil. And, uh, then just kind of build it up as a, a, a sort of a raised bed. But uh, right here in front of the window well for the basement I've got corn. Um, I've also got, some, you can see there are some gaps between the corn. Uh, I do have more corn planted. Uh, some of the seeds didn't sprout so I went ahead and, and uh, planted some more. So we've got corn all along here and a little bit of grass I need to weed out. Corn on this side of the house and uh, then we've got three rows here, um, three long rows up to the side of the house, and then a shorter row back there at the back, so you can see some of the corn all sprouting up there. Um, just right here, and it's just now starting to come up. I sprouted some pinto beans and some navy beans in uh, paper towels in a plastic cup. I uh, planted those last night after they had sprouted, and I planted them under the dirt, uh, fully covered up. We've got that one that's poking through already. So right here near the cabbage that's not looking so well anymore, we're going to have about 10 bean plants, and uh, we'll, we'll stake those up.